All right. Um, so this happened, or I, I became aware of this very, very, very recently. And I'm about to hit you guys. A lot of the time when I talk about stuff on the internet, there's generally two broad categories of things that I talk about. Things that everybody has kind of seen if they pay attention to the forum or, or other um, internet drama stuff. And then some random stuff I dig up just for funsies. This is neither. I think that this is the biggest thing that nobody has talked about yet. On the um, Kamala Trump debate thing, there were quite a few different podcasters and streamers who did live coverage of the debate, as is natural for a debate streamer. Um, this guy... Carl Warwick, a.k.a. Six X and Hammer 666, decided that he would introduce his girlfriend on stream as he watched the debate. And since the debate is so bad, he would, of course, have a little bit of alcoholic beverages as he did so. This resulted in what is perhaps the most uncomfortable moment ever captured on a live stream. Uh, those of weak disposition... Avert your gaze. Hey, this is my darling. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. You done? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Only Jeez. slightly. So if you don't know, uh, if you're only listening, um, he groped his girlfriend sitting on the couch next to him through her clothes. And the visible physical discomfort on display is uh like skin crawling and his weird like who mm, 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 yes my darling that like his voice on top of this is like the creepiest fucking thing that's ever been recorded since like pogo the clown now they are in a relationship but this in and of itself is some level of complexity carl is married and there's been some speculation since he left the Netherlands, where his wife is from, that he has split with his wife, which is interesting because he has children with his wife. But that wouldn't be the first time that he's had children with a woman and then left her, because that's actually his second wife, and he has three children. The woman sitting next to him is a 30-year-old woman that he's had a prior relationship with that ended on bad terms. How do I know this, Chad? Because she's a user of the Kiwi Farms, and in 2019, she joined to tell her story with her experience with Tara Warwick. She was impregnated by him, and at six weeks, he told her that you will have an abortion, and she claims that she terminated her pregnancy to stay in a relationship with him, which he did not keep up with. She even moved to live with him in Vermont. This woman has had three other children with different men. So the both of them have three kids with different people that they're no longer in the lives of. And her experience sounds like that she's left the children to be with Tarl. Um, she is a drug user and so is Tarl. So the two of them live in Vermont, live stream, um, have very, very awkward <laughs> relations with each other. And have three kids that they do not participate in the lives of so that they can sit on the couch and smoke weed and stream. Um, so that is to say that this um, video not only is the most awkward thing ever captured on a live stream, it is also a window into the fact that Tara Warwick is absolute fucking white trash. The likes of which have never been seen before. Like before this, it was just kind of like, oh, he... He uses an Alienware laptop as, like, a flashlight. He refuses to own a phone. He doesn't want to use any technology that actually works because he is waiting for something like Rumble to come along so that he can get money from them. Just, like, grifter, retard, piece of shit, dumb fuck. But now it's like, oh, you're actual fucking garbage. Your whole libertarian thing is, is that you're a man-child retard. And you're white fucking trash. I get it now. Now it makes sense. So, um, I was going to post this on my Twitter, but I'm, I'm, I don't know how to do it. Because this is effectively 
a, a kind of like sexual harassment at the very least. And it could be full blown sexual assault because it's she's so obviously not into it. And he's just live streaming this. So I don't know if I should like for the, the Twitter, if I should like censor her face. I don't know if I should censor the groping. I'm, I'm debating what to do about it. Um, but I'm going to Tarl. I remember when I told you to join the Fediverse and you called me a retard. Swiggity sweetie motherfucker. I'm a very patient person. I wait for the day that you grope a woman that you force to have an abortion on camera. And then I strike like a inland Taipei. Okay. I remember. <laughs> Don't get carried away. Well, I'm open to suggestions. If you guys have a, a theory, it's not like now as, as is often the case, cause the fucking, Internet drama streamers and the turkey toms of the world, they have their people watch the stream and then they learn from it and they make something out of whatever I show. And I think that, that like, mark my fucking words, this is like weird. <laughs> Six is like, a, in general, Six is popular still somehow. And he's in general weird and unlikable. And uh, as I mentioned, this is one of the most profoundly awkward things ever captured on webcam. So expect that to happen. Hit the cow. Oh, I'm rocking this boat. Don't rock the boat. Rock the boat, baby. Don't tip the boat over. Uh, let me read her post, actually. She says, hey, so all the things you guys could have looked into, my Steam account was it. Wow, you spread photos of Nayella's Instagram, yet you failed to look into mine where I'm clearly drinking from the original Styx mug. By the way, she's wearing his merch. Like, he's grabbing her booba through his own merch. It's crazy. And she's wearing the stupid ass fucking hat. Um Look, here's the thing. Taro did something that I never could have imagined would have happened to me. He manipulated me into aborting our child on November 17th at six weeks, saying that if I chose to keep it, he would refuse to be emotionally invested and would only provide whatever fiscal support he was able. He would guilt me, saying that he didn't think I was ready to be a mother at 24, and he wasn't ready to be a father at 30. He said that if I was afraid to go to the doctor, he would concoct a tea using herbs from his garden and that I would taste it. I wouldn't taste it or even know. Quote, it would be like a heavy period and we can get this behind us. I am a faithful... So, so Tarl is growing abortion herbs in his backyard? How often does he need the abortion tea that he's just growing abortion herbs willy-nilly in his back garden in Vermont? I would like some clarity to the statement. Can we get like a can we get the Kiwi Farmers drone to visit his house in Vermont and identify the abortion herbs in the backyard? Uh she says I am a faithful loyal a pretty I am faithful loyal a pretty damn good cook and I was kind until I punched him in the face for lying to me for an entire year. He still lies to me. It took a very long time but I have moved on. I'm in a happy, loving relationship with an amazing, honest man. We're expecting a child in a couple months. So I think that she abandoned this also, this child, I think who was also like her third child, um, so that she could go do drugs with Tarl, um, have some boardy tea, home-brewed boardy tea, as God intended. If Tarl wishes to live out his days with Elizabeth, by all means, he can try. I'm aware that people are capable of changing, in quotes, but I lived with him and his family for over a year with promise of change, and it was all a lie. I learned from a very young age that lying only creates more problems, so I do my best to tell the truth. That being said, there are always two or more sides to every story, so they can all be truthful in conflict. Um, I actually left a comment on her profile saying run, and I'm going to add an addendum. Never mind. You deserve each other. I think I, I think I need to correct that original statement, chat. I think I've had a change of opinion. Um, how do we feel about this? <laughs> how do we feel about this, chat? Give me your opinions. I'm, I'm, I'm reading. Give me a second to drink some water. Give me your, give me your take, chat. She's a philosopher, sis. Feeling pretty good. Based. Ricada level parenting. Not quite. We're getting there, though. She knows who he is and is choosing it, frowny face. Maybe she's there to get revenge. <laughs> what do I think about this? Wait, can I? Oh, I can click things. That's right. Hold up. 
Just depressing. I do not care. Drink the tea. Sneed. Shit's fucked and retarded. Josh is harsh but honest. Thank you. I appreciate that. I can fix her. Fuck them both. BPD. Feeling like I need some boardy tea. Don't do it. <laughs> don't ever drink anything from Tarl's Garden. You don't know what... He's like a dank, gothic, uh, Satanist um, herbologist, okay? You don't know what kind of pots he's brewing. You don't want to know what, what, what kind of Renar weed he's putting into your drinks. A match made in hell. Fuck the pair of them. They're both cunts. Facepalm. Dilette Post. Suffa sticks. <laughs> Let it play out. It will be funny. I like your I like your thinking. I think you are onto something. You get government you deserve, but the baby data data you deserve. I mean, not yet. Maybe they'll have another. This fourth one's the charm. Fifth one, you know, she's like almost pushed out like an entire squad of U.S. soldiers. You, know, you can tell that she's pretty low IQ. So her kids are going to be our finest infantrymen. She can make. She gets three more kids out of Tarl. We got an entire like squadron. They can send those guys into Ukraine in a couple of years. Okay, sticks shackle clanker. I'll close it out there. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.